Hello, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a very hot, very frazzled car boot sale haul video. I have done two car boots this morning. I've done Easter Compton and Trench Lane. Trench Lane is getting bigger, but all of my really, really good stuff came from Easter Compton. This is my Easter Compton haul. I'll show you the Trench Lane in a minute. Firstly, the Grinch. Couldn't leave him behind. He's a Builder Bear. Builder Bear Grinch. Now, he's got a Father Christmas outfit on. But the hat says the nightmare before Christmas. Now, the Grinch wasn't in the nightmare before Christmas, was he? The Grinch was in the Grinch. How the Grinch stole Christmas. So I'm puzzled as to what, why maybe this outfit isn't meant to be for the Grinch at all. Maybe someone in the comments knows the Grinch doesn't have ears, which makes it very difficult to put a hat on. <laughs> so here's the Grinch dressed in a Santa outfit, but it can't be his, can it? It can't be his outfit. It must just be a Christmas outfit that the Builder Bear sold. He was a pound. I couldn't leave the Grinch behind him for a pound. I love the Grinch. He's my favourite character, apart from when he goes a bit soft at the end. I like much like him when he's mean. So he was a quid. Also for a pound, also, not for me, I'm not keeping the Grinch even though I'd love to, but also a pound and this is for me is a very lightweight green Jersey waterfall cardigan from Yours Clothing, a 22-24. Plainly, today, not a cardigan day, it's barely a clothes day. If it wasn't for the fact that nobody needs to see that, I'd be nude. Cheers. But a pound for a lightweight cardigan. I think this was 50p. I think these two were 50p each. So I've got a la la loop, la la oopsie, is that what she's called? Or in the night garden, what's her name? But I've got her anyway. Lumpa lumpa or something? Oopsie daisy, I don't know. And then this one is, where are you from? This is a Jane Co, Jane Co pink unicorn one. I think they were 50p each. I might be telling lies, but do you care? These were marked at two pound each and the lady accepted three pound for the two. So they're just, plain jewels long sleeve t-shirt tops not as much money in jewels as they used to be sadly used to be a, a guaranteed good seller but not the end of the world for one pound fifty each i paid a pound for these clark's shoes they are size six and i would say looking at the bottoms unworn i can't see any marks on the bottoms at all um they're a suede Tammy had a pair exactly the same design on yesterday, but hers were from Yours Clothing, and she said, I love these shoes, I wish I'd bought more at the time. I think they're her size, so I might see if, uh, if see if she's interested in a pink pair. Obviously, these aren't from Yours Clothing, maybe she won't want these, but for Clark shoes for a quid, I wasn't leaving them behind. I was very pleased to find this. This is Pachamama. Is it, is it pronounced Pachamama or Pacamama? It's spelt Pachamama. It is Peruvian. Is it Peruvian? I'm, I, I am actually questioning everything I'm telling you. I think it's Peruvian. I think it's that Peru hand-knit stuff. It weighs a bloody ton. And it filled up my trolley. I had to go and empty my trolley after I bought this. That was five pounds. And that's very much worth the investment of a fiver. Wait till you see this one. Straight out of the 80s. Look at that beauty. Crew neck. Colour block. Where's it from? Sensations. It is, it is absolutely sensational as well. Plain back. Total 80s colourways. Made in Taiwan, size large, 100% cotton. Somebody is going to love that. Somebody who is an 80s retro vibe kind of person is going to really love this jumper. That cost me a pound. Did it cost me a pound or am I selling a lie again? pound fifty. She asked for two. I said, would she take a pound? She took one fifty. These two were a pound each. I have the complete Torchwood series on Blu-ray. I don't normally buy Blu-rays, but... I don't know, something about that spoke to me. So that is complete Torchwood collection on Blu-ray for a quid. And I bought the Royal Family, which I love, but I actually already have this one. I don't need it. And this was a pound. And to be honest, this is DVD, not Blu-ray. And not a lot of value in that one, sadly. You may be noticing that it was a rather muggy day again. I over-mugged. 50p each on these two pairs of shoes from the Blonde Angel Street Team charity store. So those are Anne Klein slingback patent leather in a coral with a bow front and klein shoes they are size they are size hold the line caller they are they must be a size mustn't they even Anne klein must understand that people need to know what size they are they're not a size they have no size they're a six those were six they look very small for six but i suppose it's because they're backless and then these are clark's cushion plus also a six, we seem to be having a very size six day and they are a suede pink, I love these, kind of a raspberry pink suede. 
I wouldn't be able to wear them, they're too narrow for my foot, they're just an ordinary D fitting. But I really like those. 50p. 50p. It was a good day at Easter Compton. I paid five pounds altogether for he wanted two pounds for this box set. This is the Hobbit box set. Um Hobbit and Lord of the Rings box set. I bought one of these last week. It's up there somewhere. So that will be a very simple double listing. So Lord of the Rings Hobbit box set for he wanted two pounds, but he wanted a pound each on the Denby mugs. And I ended up paying five pounds all in, so I got a quid off. So I got four of the Denby craftsman in the imperial blue um one of them has a chip on the base yeah this one has a chip on the base but the rest are all in good sound condition so four of them and the tolkien box set for a fiver mustn't grumble at that eh 50p each for these joseph josephs i have the knife store i wonder why they put paper on the side there for some reason she's stuck brown paper on the side of these i'm sure she had a reason i have the knife store and the cutlery store um, and they were, that's very good, 50p for those is an absolute barg. Another tin of denial! Tin of denial, receipts for money I used to have. Um, I always pick these up if I see them, you guys quite often buy them off me. I've got another one if anybody hasn't actually managed to get one yet. There we go, tin of denial, 50p, I think I'll pay for that. These, I've never bought geography jigsaws before, these are the geography cityscape jigsaws and I've got Bath and Bristol, Bath, Bath, Bath and Bristol. Um, have they been opened? I think they've been opened and resealed. So you get the map of which ones that watch. Let's see if I can tell what I've got in my hand by glancing at it. That's Bath. You get the map of the city and then the jigsaw that goes with it. Um, they were £2 each and he took £3 for the two, so they ended up at £1.50 each. And they seem to sell for 10 to 12 ish if I'm lucky. So. I guess it depends on finding the right buyer for the city that you've got at the right time, doesn't it? But I was willing to take a punt on those. 50p each for these two mugs. I've got Kermit. I've definitely had this one before. And then there's a Nightmare Before Christmas Jack Skellington one. So they were a lovely find for 50p. This dress cost me £3. Now, it is a dress and shrug combo. It's quite nice. It's Marks and Spencer. It's a satin dress satin shift dress with a v back is that a v no it's a v neck not back i'm looking at the wrong side of it satin shift dress with a v back fit and flare kind of style it's not a shift if it's fit and flare is it don't listen to me but i wanted this and actually on re on reflection i thought i wanted this but actually i didn't want a pink one i wanted a black one so this is just the shrug that was over the top and that's definitely my size definitely big enough to fit me because these shrugs just stretch on and on luckily but um but yeah, it was £3 for the dress and the shrug, and I just didn't want to split them. And so I thought, well, that's okay, I can sell the dress on. So another pound for another brand new pair of Marks and Spencer's foot glove. They're brand new, they've got the labels on the bottom. Foot glove sandals in a kind of a metallic bronzy beige. Brage? Is brage? Is brage? We make up brage. Brage is a lovely word. And then another selection of mugs. These are all from Steve. I didn't get a filler bag today because there was nothing in the filler bag that I wanted whatsoever. But I did buy a bag of wool for my mother from him for three quid. It's in the car, it's a really big bag of wool, like half a black sack full. She won't be pleased. <laughs> She'll be like, more wool, what am I gonna do with it all? Knit stuff. Um, these are the Leonardo collection, Rennie Macintosh style mugs. I have four of the blue, and then this random one purple one. And I gave him six pounds for all of these mugs. And then there's two Queens by Churchill ones. Fruit and tea time, I think I've got. Time for tea, sorry. Time for tea and juice, they're called. So, yeah, two of those. And five of the Leonardo Rennie Macintosh ones. 20p for this little Coca-Cola tin. I have absolutely no need of it whatsoever. It's got a window in the side. It's not a money box because there's no hole in the lid. So it's just a little storage tin. Don't need it. 20p. Liked it. Bought it. I paid £2 for this little box of watercolour paints. They're all used. But I did surprisingly well selling used tubes of paint before because there's still plenty in them and paint is flipping expensive if you are doing art at university and they're all Windsor and Newton so they're all a good brand so I thought that was worth two quid on them take a punt on that for two quid and then this was this is my favourite lady today this was the very first store as I went in everything was 20p except the DVDs which were four for a pound so they were only 25p and from that lady I got 
There was another one there. Was another... Do you know that that in the night garden comforter that was from her as well. That was twenty p. That I said I think it was fifty p. It was twenty p. It was from this lady. So that one that's already gone in. I got a little Ed the Duck. His trousers have gone. The elastic's gone in his drawers. Look, so his drawers won't stay up. But he's an Ed the Duck Olympic memorabilia. I don't know when he was released, and he can't keep his pants up. Come on, Ed, try harder. No idea. No idea what year he's from. I'll have a bit of a research and find out. But there he is, look. Ed the Duck. Was it Ed the Duck who was with Scope or was that? No, that was Gordon the Gopher. Where was Ed the Duck? Was he on Going Live or something? Somebody will know. Another 20p for this Russ Trolls nightdress case. People do still collect the Trolls dolls and these go for about 20 to 25 pound on eBay from what I've seen. 20p for that, that was lovely. Four DVDs for a pound. I have four series of medium. I have three, four, five and six. Lord knows what happened to one and two and seven because there were seven series altogether. But four of those, I will sell those individually. because If they were one, two, three, four, I'd have sold them as a block. But if, as, as they're random, I will sell them individually. Definitely run out of space in this bag again. Remember, all this was 20p now. 20p for another Lord of the Rings box set. This one doesn't have The Hobbit. This just has the three Lord of the Rings trilogy. Three trilogy, you know what I mean. And then... I love these. 20p each for these. And this was the first thing I saw because that was like walking up to my teenage years. The Blue Jeans Annual from 1988. I'd have been 15 then. With the photo stories. Do you, me oh, do you remember the photo so story serials? <laughs> Look at the mum. Hang on a second. Look at that mum. <laughs> That's the fifth mo most 1950s mum I've ever seen in a 1980s book. <laughs> Gloves with rings over the top. Look at the fashion. There's nothing like a pair of long black gloves to give instant sophistication to certain outfits. There's Morton, Morton Harkett. And speaking of Morton Harkett, I've got two of those blue jeans annuals. Speaking of Morton Harkett, I was a big AHA fan in the, back in the day. I've got the AHA special. I bought these because somebody is going to want these. Somebody's going, somebody's going to be an avid collector. Morton, Margs and Paul. I've got the Wham special. I've got the Jason Donovan special. I've got the GNR special. Look at Axel there in his youth. Unfortunately, I think he still does that on stage. That kind of thing. I think he still does it on stage, turning up in those clothes. There comes a point when you should not wear those anymore, love. Yeah. And then this one is not to sell. This one I'm going to send to one of you guys. Um, because I happen to know that one of my regular viewers is a massive, massive Wet 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 fan. So that's coming out to one of you guys. You know who you are. I'm sure you know who you are. I mean, maybe more than one of you is a massive Wet 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 fan. But one of you... Is going to be getting this. It's not in perfect condition. It's got um, a split there, but you know, it's what, 40 years old? Like that? 1989. 30 years old, isn't it? 30, 33 years old, something like that. That's coming out to one of you guys. So yeah, that those are all 20p each. I was really pleased with those. I thought somebody's going to want them. I really liked my 20p lady. She made me very happy. I'll unpack the stuff from the second car boot. There's very little from the second car boot, so it's a tiny haul from Trench, and yeah, it was a bigger boot today. I think part of the thing is by the time I got there, I'd already had a really good haul and I'd had breakfast and my heart wasn't in it. Also, Anthony had rung to say that he'd broken down in the van. So I was kind of half on edge thinking I might have to dash off somewhere and help him if he couldn't get someone to recover the van for him. So my heart wasn't really in the buying by then, but I still got some good bits. I got this hammer, big box of beads and four boards for £1.50. So that was nice. Strange, it was um, the chap who was selling it. He's obviously used to trying to upsell and sell extra things as well because he then started to offer me other things that were not remotely in relation to the hammer, nothing like it. A big cardboard end, would I like a big cardboard M? No, I don't need a big cardboard M, thank you, I'm fine for that. But still, you know, fair play to him for trying. One pound for a boggle, nice vintage boggle. Hopefully, all there is the timer there. Are you there? Yeah, the timer's there as well. Even some score paper in there. Boggle for a quid. 50p for another Queen's mug. Another Queen's by Churchill mug. And this one is reindeer. It's a Christmas one. No idea about any value. I just liked it. Liked it, bought it. It's all that. Liked it, bought that. Uh, I think I paid a pound for this. Now, I just showed you this receipt tin a second ago, didn't I? The company's called On The Bright Side, or The Bright Side, called The Bright Side. And I got a sweets tin. Never seen this one before. It says on the top, treat your body like a temple. A temple with sweets in it and then it says sweets all around the side 
just thought that was nice maybe somebody will want that maybe somebody will want it 50 peach for these three comforters i've got thomas the tank engine he needs to go in the wash he's got a grubby grubby mark on the back of him in fact i think they might all have a wash because they're all a little bit grubster um this is a rainbow designs winnie the pooh one and this other Winnie the Pooh one, I think, is Primark. It is Disney Baby at Primark, another Winnie the Pooh one. 50p each for those three. Pound for this dress. It was marked at £2 and I offered her a quid and she said yes. It might fit me, it might not. It's an Anya Madsen 22, so it might fit me depending on how much it goes out at the waist because I definitely go out further on the bottom half. My top half has gone in quite a lot, but my bottom half is reluctant to, to change its ways. And then finally these, they were a pound for the two. I don't know if there's any value in them, but I thought they were really nice. They are stoneware, clay stoneware, bakeware stuff. What's this called? Pottery? Like a chicken brick. What a chicken brick is clay, I suppose, isn't it? Chicken bricks are made out of clay. And they're for making shortbread. Aren't they lovely? So there's a thistle design. I've got two matching ones. And you make your shortbread round press it into here and it's basically it then it bakes in there and comes out molded with the thistle design on it i thought they were really really nice i have no idea if they're a good pickup or not I nearly didn't get them home because i didn't remember that i bought breakables and i kind of heaved the trolley into the back of the car and heard a crunch and i thought oh oh is that them but it turns out it was okay and that's it i'm done as always, if you have seen anything during the course of this video that has floated your boat, taken your fancy, that you've thought, I need that, there is always an email address in the descriptions box below this video and you can email me and we will sort something out. Um, if it's something that lots of other people are like, likely to want, you need to be quick off the mark because I've had a couple of people recently have gone, oh, I'd like that, and I'm like, sorry, another viewer's bought it already. But yeah, always, always feel free to message me. Um, I've said in a couple of videos now, some of you message me on Facebook or Instagram, and it's not that that's not okay, but I'm more likely to see it if it comes into my inbox. That's where my business stuff is. That's where I'm more likely to look. And also it does make it a bit easier for the taxman paper trail and all the rest of it if all my work is in one place. Thank you for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I will be back next week with another car boot haul. Take care. Bye for now.